So this is time to summarize the research that's going on in Canada. And I can put it into three general categories. The first category is metabolism. This is the new frontier in cancer research. Can we understand metabolism? Can we use it as a target for chemotherapy? And CLL, there is some exciting results suggesting yes, we can. As we just heard in the three-minute thesis, developing new targeted therapies that can be used in combination with the toolbox of chemotherapies we have now is an exciting area in CLL research, and we are continuing to understand how to better use these drugs to treat CLL. And in that vein, there's uh, even more researchers looking at something that I call precision medicine, how to use the drugs we have to the patient that will benefit from them. That's going to be the major challenge in CLL moving forward. Can we take the right drug for the right patient at the right time? And this is going to be the challenge for researchers worldwide as we keep increasing the amount of drugs that CLL patients can take. This is where I get excited. There's a new initiative in Manitoba. The provincial government has just awarded our group a collaborative research cluster grant, which I call cluster. So this is a grant in which we can bring CLL research together with the sole focus of improving the lives of CLL patients. The reason why I'm excited is that this is $2.5 million towards this initiative, and this is going to be over a five-year period. What it does is it brings your population-based researcher, it brings together your clinician, it brings together the basic scientist, as well as the nurse, to come together with one focus in mind, and that is how can we improve the lives of CLL patients? And how can we combine the knowledge we have so that it can define how a patient can be treated or how it defines the questions in the lab that we will need to investigate? So what we are going to do is we're going to have population-based studies in which we're going to identify if there is any gaps in care and any preventative drugs that we find in the population to see if we can change the course of CLL. We are also going to conduct clinical trials on these patients with biomarkers of poor prognostic outcome, as well as understanding metabolism and migration of CLL cells. And we will work together as a team as so that we make sure that whatever um, results we have will impact the patient. What makes me even more excited is that the CLL patient advocacy group was with us from the very beginning when we put this project together. There will be a member from this group on the advisory board of this cluster to make sure that any results that we have are focused on the patient and to make sure that the research we do will have an impact. This is how the program's going to work. We're going to use the infrastructure that I talked about, the bank, the clinic, and then have individual projects associated with things that could have impact. This could be patient management, it could be basic understanding, it could be a, a novel targets for chemotherapy, but the priority is the CLL patient. That's going to be the center of whatever we do. If it's not going to help the patient, we're not going to do it. And as a group, we will define what those goals are. This is how it's going to work. We're going to bring together the areas of population, basic, and clinical sciences together under the overlapping goal within our projects to see if we can have questions that we can answer that can change the management of CLL. And we hope by doing this in the next five years to have actually measurable change. This is something that is new for us in Manitoba, and it is a relatively uh, new model within a cancer center. And we hope that this model, not just for CLL, but for other cancers, will be able to have a success. So we're going to use CLL as our model moving forward. And how we're going to bring together other researchers outside of Winnipeg? Well, that's where our national CLL meeting comes in. We held this each year in Winnipeg in which we bring together researchers within Canada and from around the world to share their results. And recently, we've added trainees to our uh, program so that the trainees can interact with each other and share their data. So this is knowledge translation. We can take our knowledge, present it to the community, and they can use that knowledge to further their own research and to increase collaboration.